Hi guys, this is Jason here from Nathaniel and in this lesson let's learn Dusk Till Dawn. So you have pretty much three sections, the verse, the chorus and the, pre, the bridge. The verse and the chorus are almost similar in terms of chords and the entire song is on the B minor scale which borrows its chords from the D major scale. They are sort of like cousins so to speak. So if you know the chords of the D major scale, I think all those chord options will be used when you play this song. That's all the parts of the song. So let's get started first of all with assimilating the scale and then the available chords of the scale. So D major scale, two sharps, right? F sharp, C sharp D, D C sharp B A G, F sharp E D. Right, so you have the one major, which is D major, the four major, which is G major, the five major, which is A major, Two minor E minor, the three minor F sharp minor, and the six minor, which is B minor, and finally you have the seven diminished, which we sort of rarely use because it's not it's like a scary thing. You may not want it in a pop song. So let's go through the chords of the song now. Let's start with the verse, and while telling you the chords, I'll also give you a few piano patterns which you could use throughout the song, depending on the intensity or the dynamics of the track. Okay, so let's get started with the verse. The verse is these four chords, B minor, G major, D major, A with C sharp bass. So that's quite interesting, isn't it? You have A major here, but you have C sharp here. So that creates a sense of excitement or a nice movement, a sense of anticipation, if you will. So you have B minor, which is the six of the D major scale, G major, which is the four, D major, which is the one, na 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 na, A with C sharp. Da -da -da. Okay, and it's sort of sparsely played in the verse. You basically do the chord 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. So you could use this pattern. 4, 1. Basically hit at the 1 and the 4 each chord. As opposed to... It's a bit more heavy. You could use that pattern for the chorus. So let's look at the verse again. Okay, and then for the pre-chorus, you could build up a little bit using the same chords and playing something like So it's one and two and three and four and one and two one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So you're doing it at the one and While the verse it was quite boring and chilled out. Right? And one and two and three and four and one. So you can build it by playing more one and two and three and four and and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and okay. Now coming to the chorus, the chorus you just have to follow. The same chords, B minor, G major, D major, and they have an F sharp minor 7. So the way you can play it is, first of all, try to follow my inversions. B, not, B minor played as B, D, F sharp. G major played as B, D, G. D major played as A, D, F sharp. And F sharp minor played as A, C sharp, E in the right hand and F sharp in our left hand. So let's look at the chorus. D. F sharp minor. B minor. Also, I'm trying to build up an eighth note uh, rhythm here in my left hand just with my thumb. So 
and three and four and, and try to hit the and with the thumb this is a nice way to play like a ballad in a very punchy way to play that melody which uh, they are singing in the track and go back to chords for the last two chords just for the b minor and g major you can add this small variation that's b a f sharp a b so then G major with the supporting D with your thumb for both chords. So the G, G. That you could let the singer do that. Finally, you have the bridge, which I have written down here. So, if you'll observe, you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Follow the count of each chord. When I don't write anything, it means four times per chord. So, let's repeat: G two, three, four, D two, A four, A two, three, four, A two, D with F sharp. A two three D G two three four D two three four A two and then we hold another A for a very long time and then it goes back to the chorus the dust till dawn part. So just follow the count I've put per chord. There's a D and A played fast in the bridge and you have an A D with F sharp bass and then the G. So the bridge happens only once in the song. The verse and the chorus obviously happen a lot more, right? So hope you guys have fun playing this song. It's a nice ballad which uh, which can really improve your chops on the piano for recognizing chord progressions which are quite popular and which sort of repeat from song to song. You'll have a lot of songs also which follow the same chord progression. So also try to follow the process to. to figure out chords for songs in general so we'll attach the play great songs on piano playlist which all these songs are a part of so perhaps after you learn this you could check out the playlist for more and um, also continue to follow us tell your friends to subscribe to us and also hit that bell icon for notifications whenever we release a new video cheers